morning, good morning. How are you this morning? It's Leela here and I'm here today. I was uh, thinking about what does business coaching and my yoga practice, my bowspring practice have in common? And, and really there are three pillars with the bowspring practice that I want to share that I've really been able to carry over into uh, my business coaching business. Uh, so I want to share with you, hey Rebecca, good morning, beautiful. I thought about you yesterday. I have a cat. I'll talk about the cat again. And uh, the cat, I'm learning how to position things in my house in a way where the cat can move around and not knock things over. Rebecca made a beautiful sign. I should go. I'm going to grab it. So I'm going to give a little like uh, plug for Rebecca, my friend here. She is a local artist and is opening up a place called a painting with a twist, I think. If you put the Rebecca, if you put the location and the you know, let us know. But she she made this, and she is like such. She came uh, to the U.S. with pretty much nothing and built this beautiful life for herself. And I really believe anybody can build a beautiful life for themselves. And I've seen it happen over and over and over. One side says breathe, and the other one says smile. <laughs> is that beautiful? So just depending on the day, I turn it to align with what I want to see. I think I'm going to say smile today. I'm going to put it over here actually. Smile today. Hopefully the cat doesn't knock it over. <laughs> okay. Painting with a twist. Okay, she put the link or the, it looks like the link there too. Thank you, love. Yeah, I love you, babe. Oh man, and I'll tell you what. If you, if you want to laugh, um, go to Rebecca's shop <laughs> because she's such a beautiful woman and, and will uh, bring a smile to your face like no matter what. Absolutely. She'll have something great to say. So three things that the bowspring had taught me my practice. I, I used to be a professor, then I left that career, got into yoga for a while, um, and then started a coaching business. And what in, has ended up happening is now I've, it's evolved where I'm a business coach and body coach. So I really help people with their business and their body. So I wanna talk a little bit today about what are like some of the similarities? Like why, how are these connected? Okay, the first is accountability. I really learned when I moved to Colorado and I learned about the Bowspring and I started really taking care of my body, how important personal accountability is. So not only taking care of yourself, but being responsible for your own thoughts and knowing that anything you're feeling is your responsibility, it's no, nobody else's. So I used to feel very, I would have victim mentality. I was like angry at the world about what was going on with the environment. I was angry at the world about what was going on with politics. And what I realized was that the more I take care of my body, the more I take care of my mind, the more I take care of my life and just live my life the way that I want to, is um, everything started to unfold in this beautiful way. I started, you know, attracting the right kinds of people into my life that would help me, you know, get to where I wanted to go. And so it's really, the first is accountability. Okay, you, the more you take care of yourself, hey Ryan, yeah, accountability. I mean, I'm all about it. It's like the first tenet in my Bowspring practice is personal accountability. You have to go inside, and it's only up to you to grow your heart space, to breathe into your heart, to expand the radiance of your rib cage bigger. So I wore Bruce Lee today. Why? Well, look at Bruce Lee's like, uh, look at his like ribs. They're so broad. How does that happen? He is a on the inside, so you can see you know, the broad, nobody else can do that. It's all about personal accountability. And so in my coaching practice, my business, um, with my clients, it's like we work on that. We work on how can we be more accountable? And just having a coach is a form of accountability. I have an accountability partner five days a week at 6 a.m. in the morning. We talk, we say, what'd you do yesterday? What are you gonna do today? Keep going, what'd you do yesterday? What are you gonna do today? Keep going, what'd you do yesterday? What are you gonna do today? Keep going. Okay, that's a high level of accountability. I'm not saying everybody needs somebody every single day, but I also have four coaches right now in different parts of my life and business because I really honor the journey I'm on, but also I honor you. Because if I'm gonna come on here and tell you things, I better know what the hell I'm talking about, right? <laughs> so I better be walking my talk. I can't be saying things and not doing it. So whatever I'm telling you, I'm, I'm working on it myself, my own life, my own business, helping clients with it. Uh, Ryan said obliques popping out. What? What? I'll tell you what. The more we breathe into the back ribs, the more those those uh, those back that back body broadens. And then when your back body broadens, your front body can open. You can actually have an open heart on all sides, not just the front, but the sides and the back. Okay. 
Yeah, 100% responsibility of your life, he says, the first success principle of Fit Minds. Yeah, Ryan Brown has a beautiful community called Fit Minds. He's getting ready to launch a, a membership uh, for those people and for anybody else and um, has really worked a lot of years on in the space of law of attraction, right, Ryan? And I really believe, you know, you, you live a beautiful life, have a very abundant life, it would seem, and, uh, and, and just by maintaining a consistent accountability, knowing that you're responsible for yourself. So the second tenet here, the second thing I want to bridge the gap and tell you between the Bose Bring Yoga and business coaching is uh, mindfulness. So you have to be extremely mindful in a yoga practice, especially the Bose Bring practice, because we're telling you what to do with like the tips of your fingers, the tips of your toes, the inside of your rib cage. The, I'm telling you where to put your femur bone, ladies and gentlemen. If you work with me, I'm going to tell you where to put your femur bone. How about that? That is a, another level of mindfulness to get into your connective tissue, to engage your entire body all at one time, high, high level of mindfulness. Business coaching, same thing. You've got to catch the play. When you have a business, it's all you. Nothing that happens in your business, or more importantly, nothing that doesn't happen in your business, is because of anybody else besides you. So you really, but I believe that just like Bowspring, just like yoga, a business is a path of personal development. It's about my, of becoming even more mindful about who you are in this world, how you're showing up, how you do anything is how you do everything. So a business could be a way for you to grow as a person, just like the Bowspring. It's very mindful uh, if you want it to be. I mean, we sometimes go out there all willy-nilly and then have to come back in. But if you're really intentional about staying focused on your vision, and that's what a coach can help you do, <laughs> is really stay focused on your vision, then um, all of your actions, all of the people in your life all of the um, things that you say yes to and things that you turn down, that's really important in business. Say yes to the right things, say no to the things that don't serve your vision. And uh, sometimes you have to go say yes and then no, and then no and then yes, and you have to play with these things. And that's a very much of a mindfulness practice, just like it is when you have to breathe into your ribs, root into your hips, rise with your heart in yoga and bow spring practice, okay? Yeah, Ryan said, uh, being consciously aware of yourself. Yes, thank you. Yeah, I mean, we're entering into this time where there's so much challenges around the world and we're so aware of it because of um, media. We can just see what's going on. So we get a choice now to live in that space of challenge or to step out into opportunity, whether it be taking care of your body, creating a business opportunity, or maybe both. And that's what I help people do. And I really see... These are the people, if you take care of your business, you take care of your body. These are the leaders of the world. People with businesses. I'm telling you, I saw a speaker recently, 50 years old, beautiful man, tall, lean, runner, just had a heart attack. Why? He doesn't practice mindfulness, stress relief. He's super high strong. So it's really important to take responsibility for our emotions, for our health, and be very mindful about how we're moving forward every single day. And the third, so we go accountability, mindfulness, and compassion, okay? You have to, when you're learning a new movement practice, when you want your body to have a new shape, a new health um, level, you have to be really compassionate with yourself. It takes time. If you spent 20, 30, 40, 50 years in a pattern, I have a, you know, you guys have seen Elle Ingalls. She's not the only one. But I have uh, clients, you know, 78 years old, 55 years old, getting entirely new bodies. And how are they doing it? Soft, sweet, compassionate, one day at a time. So what I teach people is how to have this sense of mindful awareness, be accountable for yourself, and know that it's going to take a little time, but you can get there if you keep going every single day. <laughs> keep going. <laughs> have compassion. Same thing in your business. The first year, anybody out there who's starting a business, uh, yeah, Ryan said, when you learn how to master your mind, you learn how to master your life. And I would say, I'm going to add there, when you learn how to master your body, you learn how to master your life. So your body and mind are one. People think just mindset work's gonna work as you're sitting there eating Cheetos and not, never moving. Ain't gonna happen. No money's flowing in, no relationships working out, right? So if you want all of this sweet life, you know, and no complaints and all, it's not always gonna be peaches and it's not. It's not always gonna be peaches and creams, unicorns and rainbows, let's just be real. But when things go awry, you're not going to be shaken. You're going to be able to ride the wave. If you need to throw a fit, throw a fit and you move on. 
You're not going to harm anybody. You're not going to blame anybody. You're not going to stay stuck. I throw fits. I cry. It happens. Totally. And I'm aware of it. I take total responsibility that it's mine. I let it go through and I get up and get back on the horse. And you can too, right? And your body, same thing. If your body one day, I'm taking a month away from the, my bow spring practice at the studio. I'm still practicing at home, but I felt a little too patterned. I need to take some space away. That's hard for me because I love it so much. But I'm very mindful, taking personal accountability, and very compassionate with myself right now as I as I um, take a little bit of time away from the, the place that I love to go all the time. It can be a little bit of an addiction if you do something too much. And if you notice that, if you're mindful enough, you'll notice that, and then you pause, shift your pattern so you don't get too patterned one way. Yeah, don't stop. Accountability, mindfulness, compassion. Those are the three tenets of the Bowspring practice, and I believe they really come over into business coaching too. What The thing that... I share with my clients, my entrepreneurial clients, is this. I'm here to hold your vision for you. Like when you can't sometimes, you'll lose sight of it. We all do. We lose sight of our vision. And a coach can help somebody. A yoga practice, when you go into your heart, you can remember what your vision is. And when you remember what your vision is, nothing can get in the way. Haters. Uh, pauses, a stoplight, a little accident, uh, a, an upset belly, nothing can get in the way when you're really focused on your vision. And when you have a strong heart practice, a strong body practice, and stay focused, and if you have a business, you know, if you stay really focused, if you have support, accountability, mindfulness, you know, coach um, who's very compassionate will hold space for you and, and, and remind you of your vision when you need support, like, Sky's the limit, friends. I'm telling you, I did a video last week about building a six-figure business off of a TV tray. I'm, I'm like thinking about it. I'm like, I had no idea. And, and the only reason I really did it is because my coach believed in, that I could. I had no idea what I was doing until I did it. <laughs> and sometimes in yoga, it's the same thing. You've got to trust that you can do that handstand. You have no idea you're going to stick it until you stick it. So just keep going. Accountability, mindfulness, compassion. Play with it today. Let me know how it goes. Yeah, don't stop. Thanks, value, value. Back to you, Ryan. I love you guys. I'll see you guys uh, later. See you guys later. And as uh, I'm not sure, I need a good Bruce Lee quote. I should have brought. I should have brought one on, but um, I got a good joke. I got a good Bruce Lee joke. How about that? This is my favorite joke of all time, you guys. Anybody sees this video later, and you know me from the past, you're gonna crack up because you know this is the like pretty much the only joke I have. Okay, here you go, guys. What's Bruce Lee's favorite drink? What? <laughs> okay, water, Bruce Lee. I hope you like it. Please tell everybody that joke. It's my favorite. What's Bruce Lee's favorite drink? Water, but you got to get into it. Like, really, what? All right. <laughs> Blessings to you all. Have a beautiful day. And remember, laughter is the best medicine. So if you have a good joke, maybe tell it, even, even if it's just going to make you laugh. I honor all your hearts. I honor, you know, the, uh, the, the mindfulness that you're practicing and the compassion that you're showing to yourself and others, especially yourself uh, today. Blessings.